Hey everybody, this is Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about our lists. So there are two easy ways to create a list. The first is scrolling all the way down over here and dragging an entire default list over to the right hand side of your page, which as you can see in the pages drop down creates not only your overarching list element, but also three different list items that you can edit, link up, things like that. Now, we also made it a lot easier in this new version to create lists. So if you just want to drag like a list item with thumbnail over, we will automatically create that parent list for you. So let's start off with our default list here. And we are just going to drag that over. And as you can see, the first kind of list component is just a standard list item that can be given a title and link to a page, external URL, phone number, email address, all that sort of stuff. The second type is a list item with thumbnail. And with this one, you can upload an image, change a title, have some content, and link it up to something. We also have list dividers, which can be dragged anywhere in between list elements, above list elements, where you can say, look, you know, here's this list item, and now this is an actual divider, so we can get our nice division, as you can see here, that looks a lot better with the divider, in my opinion. Uh, but the cool thing about lists is those are the three standard parts, but you can also put any form element into a list that you want as well. So you want to drag over a toggle, you can have a toggle on that list, uh, text area, select, search, ranges, radio buttons, inputs, checkboxes, the whole shebang. Anything you want to put in this list uh, from forms as well will work in that list for you.